weird i was just setting up the cameras and putting the batteries on and you um i open up the side of the camera to check that there's enough battery and then you shut it again and it it shuts down everything on on the camera but the camera was shut the the door was shut but the camera was turning itself on and turning itself off turning itself on and turning itself off it did about three times before i picked it up and and double check that it was all okay and it's fine it was all shut there was nothing slightly open there was absolutely no reason for it to do that so maybe they're coming out to play already hope so so we move position now into what would have been the the last it, it had two purposes it was the place where people would get to visit their loved ones the last time before they were hanged but it was also used as a day room where people could work because you had a, a nice big window for light to come in so if they had letters to write or documents to read they could do that here So I notice there's a bit of a reading on that K2 there, it's interesting. Mm. Where's that coming from? Candle maybe? No? Just a bit of random. Oh. on now. You must have loved it when they had people down here drinking and dancing and a nightclub. Did you bother the people? Might be from there. Surely. Did you play tricks on them? Make them think they were drunker than they were. Or that they were seeing things. some action on the K2s but just I don't know whether it's they're picking up on something electrical. Is it one going off? Can you make that other one go off? That other one light up that's on the table, on the... Um, the bench. On the bench. Sit down next to it. Not that one, that one over there. So oh no, it's still going. I think there is a TV up in the corner there too. Hmm. Let me point it this way. Oops. <laughs> How many times have you kicked your feet tonight? Oh, a lot.
Hmm. Some random stuff coming here. I don't, I don't think it's paranormal at all. Mm -hmm. I can't leave it. If you like that box, follow it over there. You can play with it over on that table. Yeah. So I've placed a digital recorder over the back there in the hope that somebody may come forward and ask some questions. So you can see that K2 is still going off over there. Mm. This room would have held a lot of sadness when family members came to say goodbye. Did they sob? Please tell us your story. I placed a little box over there in the corner, far away from us. And you can speak into it and tell us what you want us to know. Did you leave family behind? Did you deserve to be hanged? All right, we are now in the solitary cell. And this is the room where they were strapped to the bed or the table or the device. The seat that we're in sitting on now. Yeah. So if they were naughty, they couldn't follow the rules, this is where they ended up. Uh, and it was in darkness and they were chained in, allegedly, and so they couldn't move, they just had to sit here. Uh, interestingly, they were carving onto their doors protection symbols from evil uh, and they had like the witch symbols and things which Richard was saying is interesting because that, sort of, that concept wasn't around. Mm. In that era, but I thought the concept of witches had been around for a long time. Mm, it had. It had been. But they were protecting themselves against ghosts and evil energies here at the jail by carving symbols into the, the doors. Mm. And there's lots of them. There's lots and lots of them. Lots and lots. Now the buggers have got to come out and talk to us because we're sick to death of them sitting back doing nothing when we've come a long way to talk to them tonight. So come on, try harder, as we've said before. <laughs> <laughs> Try harder, you buggers. <coughs> right, fuck, we'll... fuck you. Oh, excuse me. Well, nothing else has been happening. Maybe <laughs> we need some trollop language. No, it's because we suck as ghost hunters. That's what it is. <laughs> trollop all language. All these other people can get orbs and all sorts of things <laughs> happening. Orbs. Orbs. I bet you there's orbs in here. I bet you there's one flying past right now. Oh, hang on, I'll just get some dust up for you. That'll get them going. Um, that was my outside voice. It was. It, we're getting to that hysterical stage of the evening. We're, we're almost at 2 a.m. Oh, is that the witching hour? Or is no, it 3 a.m.? It's 3. Oh, bugger. Uh, so we thought we'd try the portal in here and see what happens. That's what we were doing, wasn't it? Yes. Good evening. We've come to visit you at the jail this evening. Do you know the name of this jail? And I heard you say yes there, but... <coughs> Can you say Darby? Can you say Darby? Say Darby. Maybe we need to 
speak in all the English -y. Do ye know ye the name of the daily? <laughs> Can you say the word for? I just said fuck. <laughs> Can you say the word for? What about... Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I'm serious. Hello? Do you know my name? No. Oh, we know. Do you know her name? Yes, yes, she's very young. So what is it? They said yes, yes, she's very young. Oh bullshit she is. What's her name? Were there any ladies of the night kept in here? The tracer is, is going off on the floor here and now it's just reset itself and stopped. That's interesting. The outside. You can come in. Who is here with us? Trace is going nuts. Yeah, and of course, I'm you hearing, can't see it. I'm hearing things out the door. And there's no way out of this room. This is the only door is right there. <laughs> Hang on. Is there anyone out there? Can you let us out? We're stuck in here. So I'll lean forward and then that sets it off again. I don't know why, because I'm not, it's right up that end. Are we safe here? Okay, so what we've done now is we've set up some uh, cat balls. 
down the length of the you might need to shine your light down there for me please Renata we've got various cat balls down the sides there I've also now added a battery pack to the tracer so you will see a cord going off to the left there and a battery pack uh, but we will see if they'd like to play with those things as well and we have the spirit talker on and we also have spirit talker on now and it would be nice if you could see more than <laughs> my fat chin there we go So we've added some little balls on the ground for you and if you come near those and uh, touch them or move them they will light up. Renata's also holding something in her hand which you can use to talk to us directly. Things have moved along with science now so we've, we've got lots of interesting things. Uh, this you can choose words I'm, I'm hoping on the other side you know how to do this I don't know how to explain to someone from the 1800s how to use this sort of device because this would be like magic maybe you can think your words and your thoughts can come up on this um, what it did say to begin with is did you hear us and you're going to have to actually be louder for us to hear you. Can you move location? Well, we can, yeah. but we just said up here. So I just said, can you move location? We have set up here. Where do you want us to move to? You tell us where to go and we'll move there. So if you move one of those balls there, so it starts to flash, um, we'll be very happy. And then we can move location. So there you go. Do something from over there. There's lots of things to play Let with. Let us know where you want us to go. Because I've put balls in front of doors, or pretty close to doors, so that would give us a good idea where you'd like us to move to or again use the box in Renata's hand to tell us the words you want us to hear Anxious. A N X I U S no idea no idea let me look up Google I just dropped on the ground that's me and stood next to me in the debtor's uh, cell. If you can come out and move one of these light bulbs here, please. I did feel you in there. Do you like Richard? Richard's done a lot of work in here. That's a lovely name. I don't know who it belongs to. I was cremated. Who are you? I was cremated. I don't know if you would have been back in the 1800s. I think most people were buried. I 
How many cells are there here? Can you give me a number? Lucille. Lucille. Okay, so oh, that's really difficult. The anxious. Um, <clears throat> Ancient Greek. They don't talk Greek to us. Anna. Why are we getting so many women's names here? Um, what was the name of the one woman that was sent to Australia? Positive. I thought it was like Anne, someone. Are you the lady that was transported to Sydney? Oh, cars speeding past outside like lunatics. Yes, I am judging. That was down the hallway. Do you that tink? No, it was me. Oh, oh. It's all my fun. Sorry. You should have put my hearing aids on, huh? Should have. <laughs> Bitch. That was another one there. Can you give us a knock on one of the doors, please? Are you afraid? No. Is that the problem? You prefer that we were afraid? Curious. Maybe we would be afraid if you walked out at one of those doors right in front of us. Maybe we would be afraid. I don't know. I've Cupy never. Cupacentia. What? <laughs> I'm Cupacentia. <laughs> what? Concupiscentia. What the hell? Concupiscentia has got to do with desire. Oh. And um, apparently the Catholic Church teaches that while it is highly likely to cause sin, concupiscence is not sin itself. Rather, it is the tinder for sin. Tinder? Mm. They knew about tinder right back in the 1800s, did they? <laughs> so, do we have a priest here with us? A, a pastor? Fettuccine or spaghetti? Oh, stop. So Renata's playing some music from the era. The Three Ravens Medieval English Ballad. We're going to rip roar and have a great time to that. And YouTube won't cancel us because we're not copywriting. So. How's this? Is this more to your taste? So the spirit talk is now starting to really hook into it. We've had um, funny because we're sort of cracking jokes and carrying on like lunatics. We have power. Can you feel me? Now, Renata is the one that can pick up on this sort of stuff. So, Renata, what are you picking up on? I am picking up on the fact that there is someone in here with us. Oh. There's someone in here with us. I think it's a female, too. I think it's a woman. It would be more like a woman to ask other women for help. Yeah. How can we help you?
I bet there was some terrible man in, in the other cells that hurt you. Because that happened a lot in here. You couldn't defend yourself. I'm sure women were raped, tormented, and probably in front of children too. Oh, terrible. Is that what happened to you? Can you step forward? Make those lights light up. My lungs. Your lungs. Your lungs. My lungs. Crime. Yeah, you're not wrong. Crime. Oh. oh. Thank you. Thank you. Doing a good job there. Him. Yes, him. He did you wrong, didn't he? The bastard. Yeah, that's right, the light just flashed. Or a micro sleeping again, I'm not sure. <coughs> did you fall pregnant? Yes. Mm hmm, that's how it all starts. It does. <laughs> he probably said that he's going to look after you and keep you safe from everyone. But they lie, don't they? Hate. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you do hate him. I hate what was done to you. All you wanted was to have a life and a family and be loved and respected. What was your name? Are you happy to tell us your name? Would that be okay? Can you take this please? I'm just hoping this is not a spider web on my... I just feel something... Oh... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh. Flash. What was that? And that. Did you hear that thump? The boom. No. Are you hearing things tonight? I'm not hearing. You got your superpower ears on, have you? No, I don't. <laughs> can we keep talking? Yes, we, we can. Love to. We're enjoying it. So that light's now gone off and it's set back to normal. Boots. Boots. Your well, feet frozen, are they? They would be in this weather. Ah. Yes. Thank you. You need some new boots. How about some warm socks? That would be good. Something that you can... Help me. Yeah, we can help you. Tell us what you need. That's the second time you've asked for help. We're always happy to help. Yeah, that's it. You're doing great. Just because that's right at the doorway where we have to get out and there's no other way out. It's fine. It's totally fine. <coughs> you can trust us. It's okay. So did you have a baby? I just say I like my spirit talking better than yours. Mm -hmm. Did you end up having a baby? <coughs> There's a flash there on the floor again. Don't want to talk about it. Too painful, huh? Maybe that means that you lost the baby. Well, they took the baby. Vicky. 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 Vicky, again. And the lights are lighting up while it's saying that. Maybe Victoria. Is that better? Is that a better name, Victoria? 
These lights are a proximity sensor. They're not um, low potentially. Potentially, mm. they're nothing to do with uh, EMF, so the mobile phone will not be setting it off. <coughs> so, did you have a little girl? I'm not yawning. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <sighs> I'm just sucking up some spiritual energy. <laughs> Keep talking to us, you're doing really well. You feel very gentle to me, which is like, it's unbelievable to consider what you went through and that you're still feeling so gentle and calm. You must have been very resilient. Gravestone. Gravestone. So you're talking about the headstone. Mm. Is that your gravestone that you're talking about? Can I call you Victoria? Did that go red? Sorry, I was looking up at the, the ceiling. Can I call you Victoria? Oh, it did too. Okay, Victoria. Let's see the next segment closer to us too. Mm. It's okay, you can come closer. Thank you for telling us your name. Do you like people coming to visit you? Do you like it when people are here in the um, the jail? My throat. My throat. So you said my lungs and now my throat. Is your throat sore? Or was it cut? Or was it um, like a Spanish flu or something? Mm. Oh, okay. So did you die from... Stop the camera. Oh, okay. Um, did, you, did you die from consumption? Can we just leave the camera on for a little bit longer, please? Yes. You're going to assume that means yes, are you? <laughs> oh, well... Yeah, it responded. Home. You must miss your home. You don't have to stay here, you know. You can go anytime you, can go. you want to. Oh, I've just gone. Oh, ooey, ooey. <laughs> it's all gone out of focus. Everything's out of focus. Got another flash there. Yeah, I saw that. There it goes. And again. Look, when we open the door tonight to leave, you can actually step out. And go home. And go home. Go find where your family are now. Because they would have all moved on. Now, you can't come home with us because actually we're not home. We're a long way from home. But you can walk out the door with us and walk home. Wherever. Happened here. Yeah, I know that maybe you had a bad time here, but you don't have to 
keep reliving these memories. You really don't. I can't tell you how much we appreciate you coming and talking to us. We were wondering what was going wrong, why nobody was talking to us. Can you come even closer? Can you make another few lights light up by coming even closer to You're us? You're doing such a good job. Go on, just to go up a little bit more. Just a tiny little bit more. Yeah, just a little bit more. Touch my hand. <coughs> I'm gonna touch my hand. You're almost doing it. Usually. You're allowed to touch. It was usually. Okay, I won't push you. Do you think the lights are pretty? Does that make you happy to see those lights? It helps us see you come closer. Again, boots. Shall we leave you now? And remember, when we walk out tonight, you can walk out with us. Thank you, Victoria, for talking to us. Or Vicky, whatever you're... Preferred name is. We hope that that has helped you by letting you know that you can leave here with us this evening. You don't need to stay here. Holy Spirit. <sighs> yeah. You can find a church if you want to and go and pray. If that's what you want to do. Whatever makes you happy. As long as it harms no one else. Should we finish up? Yeah. We'd just like to say goodbye to you now. Do you want to say goodbye to us? Thank you for talking with us. Very much appreciated. As history would seem to dictate, our night at this notoriously haunted location may not have conjured up demons and death, but it did allow us time alone to soak in the atmosphere of this tangible piece of history and to have possibly made gentle contact with the spirits that still inhabit the cells of Derby Jail, surrounded by the sweet silence of the dark side. See you next time.